you know, in the garment business, everything is about time because with the fashion, if it's not there on time, it's a problem. So, time is of most importance in, in our business. If you're a day late, the order is gone virtually. And uh, so, I think, uh, you know, the whole business revolves around everything being at the right time. It's always a factor in this business because it's, uh, you know, I call it feast or famine. So, in periods of feast, you have to move really quick. In periods of famine, you don't really necessarily want to slow down too much. You want to maintain some sort of uh, conservative approach, but not, you know, slow it down so much so they can't catch back up onto speed again. So, yes, it's all been about time and, uh, you know, how you manage your time on a day-to-day -day basis, how you manage your shipments being on time, how you speed up your projects and yet not break your rules so that you don't speed up and fall down very quickly. So I think speed is of essence, but I always say to everybody, I say, you know, you have to climb the ladder before you get to the top. If you've missed a couple of steps, you're going to risk falling down. And I think that's what's in my philosophy. You know, you need to be quick in climbing up that ladder, but you've got to take all the steps up and not miss a couple of steps on the way, you know. In terms of the business, uh, you know, you get so much information nowadays in terms of uh, trend forecasts, trend reports and things like that. But you also have to go with your gut feeling. And I think you have to do what's right for your customer. It may not be right for everybody, but it should be right for your customer because at the end of the day, what your customer wants is what you should give them. And I think, uh, you know, if you're able to forecast correctly what is going to excite the situation with your client, then I think that's fashion at the commercial level that, you know, you should be looking at. I, I've always said to everybody that in my opinion, the States is probably the fastest pace of working that I've seen. And I think Hong Kong is second to that. And every other place comes a miserable third, you know, fourth, fifth, whatever. But, uh, you know, we try and we strive to make sure that all the places that we work in, we work with the ethics that we have here. And we try and instill them in, in the way we work. Well, I'm hoping I can work for another 15 years. And uh, I'm hoping that in these 15 years, uh, we could, you know, really try and uh, make the atmosphere in our place more corporate. You know, the expansion will keep on happening, but to make it more corporate and perhaps even looking at public at some stage. When I go to the races, I don't uh, look at it as a gamble. I look at it as uh, a period of time when I engross myself in something that I enjoy. So I forget about everything else and it, I think, you know, I need that time that, you know, that, uh, you know, time away from thinking all the time sort of thing, shall I say. There's so much luck involved in what happens after you're dealing with an animal that is going to run to its own mood. So, you know, you might have the best horse today and tomorrow morning you get a call from the trainer and says he broke his leg and that's the end of it. So you have to be prepared with disappointment when you do something like that and then, you know, Take it as it comes, uh, the minute you lose patience, you either lose a lot of money or you lose a lot of, uh, you know, hope. And I think, uh, you know, hurts both ways then. I'm not very, uh, shall I say, uh, you know, in favor of classical watches. I don't really like classical watches. I always like to wear something fun that makes me happy. So, you know, I like to wear a watch that makes me feel good, shall I say. And at the risk of sometimes being a little bit brash and a little bit, uh, shall I say, bold in what I wear, I feel that, you know, it makes me happy, so I wear it and, you know, 